Last week on Stoked On Fishing, our gang headed down to Mexico to fish the world-class Lake El Salto for three days, chucking and whining a bunch of savage gear lures and see what happens. Our number one objective, get some footage of the duck and rat. Unfortunately, Mother Nature blew the week prior and weather was a bit colder than normal, but that didn't stop Dave and Todd from trying to catch a monster largemouth bass. Today, we're starting out early morning throwing the duck with every single cast looking like it's gonna get blasted on, and then it happens when you least expect it. Yeah! This is a world record. If this is a world record. This is a world record. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Goober. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View at GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vida in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun, and Ricante is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica. So this is uh, this is the small Savage Gear duck, and it comes out of the package with the top hook on it like that. So very weedless. You can run it right over all kinds of brush right here, through grass, whatever. But um, today we were running it, and uh, you know these things really kick, make a lot of commotion, and um, it just seems like a lot of the fish we were we were getting strikes there were short strikes and so tomorrow having this extra length this comes in the package little extender you just put it right there on the split ring extra hook with a split ring already on it takes all of two minutes you're back in the water that fish that hit you two or three times and came up short well now he's got this in the melon tomorrow baby ducky meet mr bass <laughs> yeah and uh any tip on uh, the little plastic piece um, yeah, these right here, they're fantastic if you carry them in your front pocket, but if you're going to throw them out in the water, great for catch and release because you'll never catch. So make sure you cut these off, guys, before you go fishing. Did that hinder one of our bites today? Uh, it could have. I don't know who, <laughs> I don't know who where, or what, but you might want to cut those off. <laughs> All right, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good I do, morning. I do believe it's our second day. Today, right? Day two, El Salto. We up nice and early here today. Got your breakfast in you? Nice and early. Slow Not early fast. enough. Not early enough. It never is, Todd. We could have been. Out, uh, there's already light out, guys. We could already been fishing. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll keep this real short. We're throwing some ducks. Throwing ducks and early. Rats. We're gonna throw. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get the top water bite. Yesterday morning, I thought in the morning on the top water was pretty slow, but we, like Dave said, we saw some good signs yesterday afternoon. Yep. He's gonna commit to the rat. I'm gonna commit to the duck. Let's go get him. Okay, this is his number one top water spot. Oh my god, okay. That's a little morning start. What an experience is that? Little guy in. Oh, there was one. On you? Yeah. See that? Yep. Yep. Little nip. So let's taste a foot. This week, nobody, nobody good uh, top water bite. Two weeks ago, me fishing, and catching good ones, a lot of good fish. This yeah. week, there's no top water. Maybe. Two two weeks ago was very good top yeah, water? Two weeks, yeah. This week yeah. is? This week is low, more yeah. slow. Maybe two weeks ago, pato, maybe. Okay, yeah. see, make, make so it's a timing thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. So we should come every two weeks. Maybe too cold, this week, mucho cold. Yeah. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's, it's a problem. Hey, yeah. That's Sir Todd Klein. Ew. Good morning from El Salto. Rise and shine. A little top water. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a nice day. <laughs> Mom, is breakfast ready? Oh, there he is. 
Yeah, buddy. Poquito. On the plato, <laughs> plato negro. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a big bass to eat the duck. No, we're not. Very nice, very nice, son. <laughs> Cast a catch. There this it is, is the other color, right? That's the black. How many colors are there, Dave? There are, uh, what do we got, three colors in the ducks right now, as well as of a couple of uh, different colors for some, some other sporting goods stores. Okay. But an awesome little duck right there. Yeah, buddy, little orange feet. Nice Bad. day. Nice day. Yeah, the dog I like is swimming, same as bus bait. Yeah. yeah. And the, you throw bus bait, you throw bus bait, no reel, and bus bait go in the bottom. Yeah. Dog no, no, Stays no go on the bottom. Yeah. that up in the shallow. That's a fish for sure, a bass. bass. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a bass. He was pushing bait. Somebody was up there causing some trouble, huh? Yeah, something was pushing some bait around on the bank. Well, he's getting ready to pounce. Oh, I just got the osprey just taking a giant. No, they want that commotion. Wow. Feather and anger. Yeah. Oh, you. Come on, on it. Just blew it out. Blew it out of the water. No, he did. I watched him. He had it straight on it, dude. Mm. Was... He did it again. He did, did it, it again? again? Yep. That was insane, dude. There we go. Two for two. There we go. Come on, little guppy. He took the plastic off of those. There you go, buddy. That was sick. That was sick. Wait for his dad to come eat it, though. Papa Duck, come on home. But that just says it right there. I mean, that's what we need to see. One day can change everything. Yeah. Get the net for you on the duck. Yeah, yeah. Duck, net, net, net. Hey, there he is, right here. Yeah. Yes. yeah, son. Can you say son on the duck, <laughs> Mr. Klein? Right Got there. him. Yeah. That made the trip right there. Son. <laughs> what we were talking about last quack, night. Quack. There it is. So we put that extender on last night. We had some short strikes in the morning yesterday. Comes standard in the package right there. Pops right in. You got a uh, split ring that comes on that treble. Party time down in El Salto. <laughs> Son. Yeah. Duck fish. That was right in this Came, we saw, we accomplished. Yeah, ducky. <laughs> that was cool, man. So two killer blow ups and then one straight blow up to on. That was awesome. <laughs> Gracias, Jesus. 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 That top water stuff is always fun to see, isn't it? Dude, yeah, top water is always fun, but man, this duck, it's, uh, it's super unique. And, uh, you know, back home in Southern California, you don't really get to throw stuff like this very often. The Delta, Clear Lake, places like that. Obviously, all up and down, uh, you know, in Florida and. God, the list goes on, but yeah. for me personally, I don't get to throw this very often. And uh, to come down here in El Salto, throw it into the sticks, you know, I don't know if you've seen, but a couple of times, you know, I'm in the trees, but the way this sets up on the bottom with, uh, with this keel and no hooks on the bottom, you can, you know, I'm not gonna tell you it's weedless because it's not weedless, but it's pretty darn good as far as getting it through those trees. And then you got that stinger that's hanging back there just past the paddles of the, of the feet and, uh, that largey, well, he got to meet Mr. Old Quack Quack. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was fantastic.
Yeah, yeah, Dave! Oh, dude, you hucked it back there. Yeah, that was a heavy. Oh, that's a nice one. Not too bad. Yeah, son. Oh, and actually, it's stuck. Excited. Very nice, Dave. All right, hey. On the hard mud minnow, my favorite. Yeah, it's way down there. All right, son. Deal. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this. Good morning. Yeah, come on to SS. No. Tuna fishing on bait cast reels. Yeah. A lot of fun. Uh, it's a new reel. New SS. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Nice job. On the new reel. Yes, sir. Oh, SS. 450. 30 pounds of dragon. Pretty excited about this reel. Right. It's been good so far. There's been some monster fish caught on it. Yeah, baby. Komodo, eight foot inshore bass right on the yeah. tuna. The biggest thing with this reel is all stainless steel gears. And it outputs 30 pounds of drag. There it is, deep filler. Oh, yeah. Andrew. Nice. Nice. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Give me some of that. Yeah, come on to SS. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, dude, it is like a pheasant. Yeah. Okay. It is like. a Yeah. He whittle. Give me a jump, give me a jump. There we go, thank you, sir. Okay. It's okay, Is that okay? Gracias. Oh, he gobbled that, didn't he? Yes, sir. Mwah. Todd's setting the hook. Little chunk. Just climbs. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, a little chunk. Yeah. Wacky rig arm. Hey. Hey. It's okay. No. Ah, perfecto. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sand deal, getting it done. Fresh and salt. It's just a basic slow wind, huh? Just a basic slow grind along the bottom. Last time we were down here, these things actually whacked them. Bugatti. Nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the sand eel. Getting her done. Yeah, a great little bait. Salt water and fresh water. Yeah, yep, yep. Are you on? I got one. <laughs> oh, turn the camera on, turn the camera on. He did, he did. Oh my gosh, I'm just winding this in because I had a knot in my line. And look at this. Okay. <laughs> oh, better one. Whoa! Chaos. What is the odds of that? Look at that. Dave's got a nice one. Son. Sand deal. I was just talking about the sand deal, and you don't even need a rod and reel. Just bust out the Coke bottle, <laughs> tie her up. That is amazing. Oh my god. Hey. Yeah, nice fish. Do blaze. Oh, Shay's made a mess, but <laughs> I can't believe that. Thank you, son. What are we looking for here, Ted? Uh, I'm gonna put a sand eel on. Dave, uh, Dave had one, lost it, and then caught another one, so a little bit of a swim bait bite starting right now, and that sand eel, that's a spare tail there, but uh, I might switch it up. That's the color Dave's Ooh, using. Can I see a sexy shad in there? Yeah. Bait with a little bad boy on there. Just... Still right here? Or, okay. Oh, I got stuck on something. Yeah. He felt pretty good. Ah, uh, he came off. He came off. Ah! Ah! Woo! <laughs> that stick added another seven pounds to him. <laughs> That's fine. It's okay. I got it. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> hey, I think you've had a couple sh six sticks. No, pounders. Tree pounders? Look at that. There you go, Shay. That's what you got all hyped up on. Look at the worm's just as big as he is. All right. Thank you, sir. He gone. That's tough when it's a reeler. A worm's different, but. What'd you have there? You have a little nibble? I had a little bite. I was going to wait for the hook set. You try to wait for the camera guy, but what was the camera guy doing? <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> There's some fish up in here, I'll tell you that right now. Después, si vienen ellos, van a decir que ellos hallan el lugar. Yes. Yes. Unless I'm on the net, but. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Pero aquí eh, güey, no está el otro palo, no te acuerdas que aquí te paraba. Pa aquí te paraba con el marihuana y nosotros nos paramos allá. Estamos aquí. Maybe seven. Yeah. Eh. Con el teja, güey. Stay down, stay down. Chicken club. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Rocket, rocket. Okay, listo? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Are you ready? Okay, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Woo! Yeah, baby! All right, Jesse. Me amigo, nice. Woo! Yep. Okay. You have it down there? Sit down. Oh, wait. Six? No, I'd say maybe six. See near and far, leave nothing unseen. The bang that you see here is a 20 foot bang. As you'll notice, this pylon will come to the boat and we'll never lose sight of it. This allows us to go into tight areas and get target acquisition up tight and up close. Unmatched target resolution. You're picking up a line. These are pylon that are sticking out of the water and that is over a quarter mile away from the boat right now. No radar on the market today has this capability. Oh, 
Oh, poor Favor. It's okay. Hey, perfecto. Armor crawler. Green pumpkin, red flake. Is it? Oh! What is up with the Davy Pop? He's coming up. Okay. Go. Yeah. It's okay. Is that sandal still in his mouth? Oh, yeah, 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 perfect. Oh my god, sand eel. Nice job, son. Holy cow, dude. Wow, what a fish, buddy. Not bad, not bad. What a fish. She's feeling pretty weak. Oh, yeah. Well, she launched a couple times, didn't she? Yes, she did. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she launched. Nice. First and foremost, I just want to say thanks to you guys for giving me the opportunity to come down here. You know, this was a, a dream of mine to come down to El Salto, and it did not disappoint. From the way they looked out after us at the El Salto Lodge to, um, you know, the fishing, you name it, Dave touched on it, but I mean, Morning time, a little bit of top water. I was a little bit skeptical, you know, wondering, is that duck gonna work? You know, it looks too good to be true. Straight up, they like that thing. To see that thing just, they, they come up like a great white on a seal and that thing was flying in the air and finally they would just commit. Aside from the fishing, what a beautiful place on the planet. You know, beautiful mountain ranges, some of the sunrises, some of the sunsets were straight up post guards. And then to top it off with some of the world-class bass fishing we got to do, unbelievable. I've never seen so many birds in my life. No, it's just yeah, crazy. There were some really cool birds, a lot of hawks, a lot of ospreys. You know, this place is thriving from the tilapia that are feeding the local community and they're, you know, selling probably all over the world, but they're, they're also feeding the bass and it's just, it's a thriving fishery down here. And it, yeah, as, as a fish blows yeah, up yeah, behind yeah, us. I just heard that. Yeah. I just heard that. Unbelievable. Well, Dave, I just want to thank you and you uh, Savage Gear for bringing uh, Todd and I down here and uh, shooting all kinds of video and just flat out having some fun, bro. It was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to our next trip. Thanks, right, sir. Let's do it. You got it. All right, guys. Safe travels. See you soon. You. Thanks, guys. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vida in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun and Ricante is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica.